This is one of the coolest Arzikas on the market. This car has got a four-wheel drive setup, suspension and even a light system. Stay tuned. So guys, in today's video we've got some new drift cars to look at and this is probably the best small drift car that money can buy. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you'll find an awesome looking car. Just look at this man, this thing really looks awesome. So we've got a transmitter, some cones, a USB charger and we've got a set of rubber tires. So as you can see I've got two sets of these little cars. So one is bought with my own money and the second one has been provided by AliExpress. So this video is partially sponsored by AliExpress but still this is my opinion about this little car. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter now. The transmitter runs on Ford Fit Place, which you need to supply of your own. So the build quality is very sturdy and I really like it. So the ergonomics to your hand is just perfect in my opinion. So it is capable of handling steering and the controls feel very very nice. So on this side you will find the steering trim, on off switch right over there. We've got the light switch right over there, the hazard light function. And we've got a 3 speed mode sitting right over there. And that's all to say about it. So let's have a close look at the car now. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well appearance wise, I think that this car really looks amazing. Just look at it man. So we all know which car they have tried to copy. And for me that's all fine. So this is like the Huni truck, but they also make like a BMW, a Porsche and a Nissan Skyline or something like that. But appearance wise, I really do like this car. So in the front of the car you'll find some headlights sitting right over there. So this car doesn't have got any indicators and that's all fine for me. And that's because this is a drift car and we're drifting normally you, you won't use any indicators so you know that's all fine so on the bonnet or the hood you'll find some air scoop or sort of supercharger or whatever that's supposed to be so at the rear of the car you'll find some tail lights we've got the diffuser sitting right over there and we've got a big spoiler so underneath the car you will find the usb-c charging port right over there the on off switch and here you can see the steering setup so the steering and throttle is fully proportional and that's always a good thing and this car has got a four-wheel drive setup yes it's got four-wheel drive and that's it's just amazing, especially for the car of this size. So let me turn everything on and show you when this car is powered on. The car is powered on and here you can see the headlights and we've got some tail lights. So like I mentioned we've got fully proportional steering and fully proportional throttle and that's always a good thing. So throttle wise we've got three positions. So currently you will find the green LED sitting right over there and that's the slow speed. So when you press this little button right over there once then it goes into the orange color and now it's in medium speed. Press the upward button again and now it's in the red and now we have got full speed. And just look at the wheel speed, so we've got a pretty decent wheel speed. Yeah, that really looks nice. So this button right over there is to activate the hazard mode. So all the lights will be blinking in this mode. Press it again and they will are solid on. And with this little switch you can turn the lights on and off. So let's build a little course. and. So guys, I made a little test course as you can see, and this is in the low power setting. So this is the lower speed, and we've installed the rubber tires on this little car. But just look at it go, man. We've got a pretty decent speed, and so far I really like it. So press the speed up button once, and then you will have the middle of speed. And whoa, that's pretty fast. Just look at it go. So this is with the rubber tires in the middle speed. So let's put it into the high speed and the red LED has come on. So let's see how fast this is. Wow, this is a pretty fast car. Just look at it go, man. Wow, it's just all over the place. So this is with the rubber tires and we have got a pretty decent grip with the rubber tires. But I think it's a little bit too fast in the high speed mode. But let's put on uh, the drift tires and into the middle one, I think. So guys, I just installed the drift tires on this little car, so let's see how this car performs when drifting. So I put it into the middle is power setting, or the speed setting, because the, into the high speed is just too fast for indoors, I think. But let's see if I can get a slide out of here. So this is my second drift car, and the first one, if you've watched that video, yeah, I'm not very good in drifting so far, but... Let's see if I can get a nice slide out of this little car. So full throttle and steer the opposite way. Oh, just knocked down almost all of the cones. 
Yeah, as you can see, I just totally suck in drifting. But I think if you are a capable drifter, I think that this is a pretty nice car. I really do like the four wheel steer and the light system inside this little car. And we've got a lot of wheel speed with this, especially into the high power setting. Yes, this is a very fun car to drive. And I think if you have got a couple of different ones just driving around with your friends, you know, just have a little bit of a competition. Or maybe a, some track competition. I think you can have tons of fun with this little car. So, as you can see, yeah, I cannot drift at all. But you know, this car is still fun. And yeah, let me bring this back to the table and give you my final thoughts about this little car. So guys, that was the driving with this car. And what do I think of it? Well, for the money, I think that this is a great little car. So I think I paid around 30 bucks or something. So I'll put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. And for the money, I think that you will have tons of fun with this little car. So this car with a four-wheel drive setup, you know, with the rubber tires, it's a pretty fast car, you know, even with the drift tires, if you're capable enough for drifting. So I'm not, but perhaps you are. I think that this is just a great buy. So for example, if you have two of those, you know, when driving against the friend, or the neighbor or your kids for example i think you'll have tons of fun so for the money i think that this is a great little toy all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggested leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye